Hello, my name is Jay Patel and I'm with Genovation Incorporated. This video will demonstrate how to hyperlink URLs, images, and email addresses using formulas. The sample application used for this video was created from the Southwind database that is packaged with IronSpeed Designer. For our first example, we're going to implement a URL using formulas. So let's take a look at employees table, show table, see all the employee information, scroll to the right, here we see the employee uh, picture, and we see here the employee uh, reports to, this is their manager, the manager's last name. If you notice the link, it's a post back, this is a link button. What we're going to do is, is implement the same thing, but use a standard URL. First of all, let's change our default page to the employees. Let's scroll over to reports to. Going to go to fields. Let's add a second reports to field. What we're going to do here is this is what our goal. We want to create a URL that goes to the employees show employees page. We're going to plug in an employee ID and this is going to be their reports to um, uh, person. So this is going to be an employee ID of their manager. And we're going to display the manager's last name. This is going to require a lookup. So in our formula, what we're going to do is essentially the same text. The part that's static is going to go in quotes. That's this. The reports to field is going to be plugged in here. And next we're going to close out the anchor tag here. Next, we want to, for the employee name, we want to look up the reports to number in the employee table and we want the value of last name. And then finally close out the anchor tag, the closing A. So for simplicity, we're going to copy this we're going to copy this to our formula. Next, we're going to change this link button to a literal. We'll change the HTML encode value to false and the maximum display length to 9999 and let's run it and we have the updated employee screen. Now if you notice the the URL at the bottom, it's an actual URL. You notice employees, show employees.aspx, question mark, the query string, employee equals two. So if we click on that, it's going to take us directly to the employees table. There's no postback involved here. So let's go back. Notice here in our example it was not able to pull up a employee since one did not exist so it's just sh simply showing us an error. For our second example we're going to create a email hyperlink. Notice the email address on our employee show table page. It's currently not clickable let's change this to a hyperlink. Let's look at the email address. Basically it is a literal and it just displays the value directly. So let's look at our goal. An email hyperlink has the following format. It looks similar to the previous hyperlink but it includes a mail to indicating that it's an email address followed by a colon and the actual address that will go in the to field and then this is the display value on our screen, the email address. Again, very similar format. The static portion goes here in quotes. 
we're going to plug in an email address again a static portion and then the email address to display and the closing tag so let's copy this portion let's change the HTML encode to false and the maximum display to 9999 and let's run it and there we go we have a hyperlink for our email address in our final example we will transform an image into a hyperlinked image currently it's not clickable it does not take us anywhere we will change this into a hyperlink let's discuss our goal for this one our show table page shows the photo of each employee and we want to make that photo clickable and hyperlink to the show employee page so the existing page already generates an image tag we want to surround it with an anchor tag with a link to the show employee page so this is what it would look like so our formula in this scenario we're going to have a opening tag the picture that is generated currently and a closing tag that will formulate our entire hyperlink on our show employee table page see our photo we're going to go to the ASP toolbox drag a literal before the photo drag a literal after the photo let's rename this to open tag in our open tag we're going to display the opening portion of the tag in the closing tag of the we're going to plug in the closing portion and the photo tag essentially remains as is but the only change is to change the pop-ups to false let's run this let's review the changes if you recall from a prior example the images were not clickable notice how the pointer now changes to indicate that it is clickable clicking on the image now takes us to the show employee page whereas before the image was not clickable that concludes our presentation as was demonstrated, it is easy to add hyperlinks for URLs, images, and email addresses to your application. For further information on this topic and others, visit these online resources, and don't forget to add your voice to the IronSpeed forums. Thanks for watching.